Of the 22 bars in the Uptown Athens area, Jackie O's is the only brew pub, and behind the brews that Ohio University students love is a former grad himself, who after graduating anchored himself in Athens to pursue a career he has a passion for, which awards him the title of being the only pub brewmaster in Athens. Brad Clark, B-R-A-D-C-L-A-R-K. I'm the brewmaster here at Jackie O's. Uh, I am 27 years old. I graduated from OU in 2006 with a creative writing degree. My kind of my road to becoming a brewmaster uh, started here um, at Ohulis, which was the name of Jackie O's before it became Jackie O's. Um, I was working as a bartender here and started home brewing because the brewmaster at that point um, had just opened up a home brew shop. So that became um, a really intense hobby for me. And then, you know, as I got more and more into it, I kind of decided that I wanted to try to become a brewmaster, and it just so happened that Ohulis had gone under. My buddy had purchased it, and he um, presented the uh, opportunity for me to be trained and become the brewmaster uh, here at Jackie O's. So I pounced on that, and initially, uh, I don't think my parents were uh, real excited about it. I think they were glad that I had found something that I was going to do, but I think that they really wanted me to move from Athens. Um, and I didn't know if they really thought that a brewmaster was maybe the, the best choice uh, for a profession, but uh, over the past four years, they've really come around to it. And I think they're real proud of me and uh, real uh, tickled with uh, what I do. My original plan um, before this opportunity came around was to try to get into the brewing industry anyways. Um, so I was putting some feelers out at some different breweries in uh, Columbus. Um, so. I guess if the brewing thing wouldn't have, wouldn't have panned out, I have no idea what I'd be doing. Although a far cry from utilizing his creative writing degree, Clark's creativity is not wasted as Jackie O's brewmaster, and he is granted freedom of experimentation when making a brew. Um, I tend to lean more towards like the art or the creative side of it, but there's definitely a lot of you know science involved with it. But um, I think my my strong point is uh, being creative and. Um, developing these flavors and aromas and colors and the, the concept behind the beer I think is um, kind of my strong point. Um, I, I understand the process and a lot of the scientific portions of it, but uh, I tend to really focus on um, getting kind of creative or artsy with it. So. As a result of this job, Clark has been afforded the opportunity to take classes furthering his knowledge in the brewing industry. The owner. Um, helps me to, you know, continue to go to, go to brewing school and take some, some classes. I've taken classes in, like, recipe development and beer styles, um, taken classes in sensory analysis and kind of developing my, um, my ability to smell and taste uh, certain things in beer. Food. Uh, so there's all these classes that you can take to, you know, get your mind rolling again, um, obviously learn some new things and it kind of changes your perspective on how you do things. I always, you know, come back here and end up changing some things or sometimes I'll create a new beer or install like a new cleaning practice or it's a, it's, it's always a, a good thing and it always in, improves the, uh, the uh, beer, uh, no doubt about that. So it's, it, it's, it's tons of fun to do these classes, you know. When I was in college here, I wasn't, I wasn't digging all the classes, but now, uh, I'm really excited to go to class <laughs> when it happens. Clark maintains that this is the ideal job for him, although the brewmaster job is much less cozy and regulated than the typical 40-hour-a-week job a college graduate usually has. Clark works approximately 55 hours per week, and despite the manual labor involved in his job, does not receive health care. One of the advantages, um, or I think the biggest one, is that uh, I'm doing what I love. Um, and I really enjoy, you know, coming into work every day. I also get to kind of make my own hours. And that usually ends up that I, I work a lot of hours, um, which could be a disadvantage, I guess. Um, the pay is not, like, amazing, um, probably compared to a lot of my fellow grads. Um, but you weigh that in with, you know, enjoying coming to work every day. And I think that's, that, uh, that's, that's worth a lot. Favorite part's probably seeing people enjoying my product uh, every single day. Uh, you know, just uh, 
having people, you know, sitting around drinking your beer and talking and, you know, just enjoying it. Being able to see that many times every single day is very gratifying. Clark is unsure as to where the brewing industry will lead him down the line, but he does not plan on getting out of the business anytime soon. Uh, you know, as I get older or whatnot, probably a lot of the physical labor part of it um, will be on somebody else's shoulders, literally. Um, but, uh, you know, hopefully just, you know, being maybe more in a management role, you know, uh, making sure that all the brew house operations and whatnot are, are, are in line. But who knows, I might just be some old guy at the bar and, <laughs> you know, just, uh, just relaxing. So. To try one of Brad's signature brews, you can go to Jackie O's Pub and Brewery, located on 24 West Union Street.